Three. Hello, this is Papa Builder of Things at My Shire Farm. And today we're going to be putting together a brooder from Dale's Quail. Dale came to the Quail Con this year and sold a bunch of cages and, uh, and brooders. And uh, I was walking by and Zach said, hey, put this thing together. So we will try to do that. Uh, he also asked me to not forget to mention, uh oh, yep, I've done dropped the instructions here. Gonna need those for sure. Um, not to forget to mention that this is the brooder that we'll now be giving away on the 18 and under. So you'll get a brooder uh, from Dale's Quail, the uh, cage from Winona Ranch, and the eggs from us truly, my Shire Farm. So, and and I, of course, I looked at him and said, you're gonna need an incubator at some point. And he says he's working on it. So maybe with some luck, one of these days we'll have uh, incubator to throw into that mix as well. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Okay, so uh, that's, I don't know. He's a pretty generous guy, apparently. We're not so sure I'd be so generous, but he really enjoys giving this to our future quail owners. Wow. Right. So, yikes. Yeah, he's got this thing. Custom box ND. There we go. Okay, we got some dowels stuck there. All right, let's see what we got out here. Bunch of stuff. Bunch of stuff. All right, empty box. Instructions. So it says to put, it says to lay an A, and he's got them nicely marked here. A. Lay it on its back, which I don't know what a back is, but we're going to call that the back for now. And attach a B and a C. So what's a B and what's a C? This is the door. That's a B. Cool. All right. So that's a B, which is a door. And this is a side. The A is a side. Let's see how it's gonna go here. That maybe? Oh, look at there. It lines right up. That's a that. It says to, to make sure you glue these, but having not ever done this before, I think it would be prudent of us to put it together first, glue it later. So this is a C, so a B and a C, that ain't right. That ain't right, but I bet that's right. All right, and we find another one of those. about that okay so we did uh, we put a A on its back and put a B and a C in place be sure to glue the dowels so the holes assembly secure fit we're not going to do that because I don't know what I'm doing and then we want to put another door which is a uh, B over here, I would assume. Like so, Daddy O. Yeah. How about that? All right. So we're building this on its side, apparently. And then we're going to, and then it says to put the other two on, which we just did. Then fit the bottom of the box lids of the screen in the top and the other one. no I don't know how we got there but we want to put this guy on no doubt like 
so. Looks like a maybe. Looks like a maybe. Cool. All right, Dale, you're looking good, Dale. Looking good. All right, now, this is where I probably stopped reading directions, but flip the box onto its bottom. The lids are, the lips are at the bottom and the screen doors are at the top, which I would have suspected as much. And so this is that. And we got this jumped out here, but that's okay. Since I didn't glue it, can't help for much more. Then, what? Place the wire floor on the lip. Wire floor. Half inch is what we recommend for your brooder as well. It looks, you know, when you're new to this thing and you're thinking they're just little babies, it does look big. The holes do, but surprisingly enough, it's okay. But he, we'll see what else transpires here. So we got a little staple gun. It's just a regular arrow staple thing. And we're going to staple that down. And that's going to jump out. How sweet is that? I missed both of those. Yikes, what am I looking at here? Huh. Not a very good shot. Used an air stapler. There we go. I'm not gonna nail this real good. You'd wanna nail it better. And I hope you're a better shot than me. That is just embarrassing. Missed it again. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, I wish I could figure out where I'm at. There we go. Now I see uh, something I can line up. All right. So that's that. Now, what do we got? We got four pieces here that seem to be the same. So apparently it doesn't matter. And... Uh, then we got to put the sides on, like so. He said this would only take a couple minutes to do, and I guess he wasn't kidding. And hopefully, I don't have very sharp staples here, but they went in pretty good. Not that one didn't go in very good. There we go. Got to hold it nice and tight. Yep. The winner. All right, I'm not gonna kill myself on that either. We just want a proof of concept here. That's F, so I'm gonna call that a floor. And apparently he thinks that when you first got your baby babies, you may want to put um, these floors down, which I'm not gonna argue with. This is um, Dak was giving me some specs on this thing. It's 3.3 square feet in here. And at six birds per square foot, babies, that's going to give you 18 or 20. Now, the baby babies, you probably could do a little more, but they have to move pretty quickly into something else. Because it's when I first started building these cages, it was insane trying to keep up with these things. Do not try to do that. Try to have uh, what you're moving these things into built before you start, or you will be working nonstop just to keep up with the growth of these things. They go fast. Um, so that, but if you do 18 or 20, that would last you for three weeks. Probably you could have your babies in here and, it, and we use the blue mechanics, paper towels, uh, that you'd get in a big box store or something. And we put those down. We put that down just right over top of the wire. So we don't have this going, but for a, for a newbie, you might want to put this down, then put your blue paper towels down 
and that'll make it really easy to clean up because they do poop a lot. So we'll put this other one in here and get it tacked in just for sniggle giggles. And I'm gonna really push it hard. Yep. Um, I don't know if this is the best deal with a hand stapler, but you know, it seems to be working. And I'm pretty spoiled when it comes to my tools. So I would never, never do that. I would screw it in or use my nail gun or something. So here's the other guy. And we are closing in on this pretty quickly. I'm glad it's uh, going so well. So attach four legs, D, using the provided screws. Holes have been pre-drilled to assure the alignment of the feet all the way to the top support. I'm going to call, it has a little picture here um, of that. So between the instructions and this little video, I think you're going to be okie dokie putting this thing together. So I'll do that over here so you can see it better. And uh, not really, it's been a long time since I operated one of these guys because I have cordless screw guns. So we will see if I can even do it. Well, just like riding a bike, how about that? How about that? And then what? Seems like we had a... Oh, I'm doing that wrong. I'm doing that wrong. I bet it goes over here. All right, sorry about that, Dale. I'm not looking at the instructions. I'm doing my own thing here. Doing my own thing. Wearing out my wrist. Here we go. Now we're cooking. Obviously, they would go on the side. So, not too bad. Not too good. You got a hole pre drilled over here. All right, I don't know. Um, you have to see, I'm hanging it off the side here to make it a little easier to do. And I may have to flip it upside down or put it on the ground might be the way to go. Let's see if I can do that. Let's see if I can flip it down without it falling apart since we did not glue it. Look at that. Since I didn't go to the top of the other one, I'm not going to go to the top of this one. Dale's saying, follow the instructions. So, yeah, thus far I've used a... I even give you the screws and the glue, which is nice. Give you plenty of cards so you can call him. But again, I think with the video and instructions and you're not going to have any problems with this puppy. Um, he sells cages and stackable brooders and rabbit cages. He's uh, got quite a quite a lineup here now and had really good luck selling his stuff here at the convention. I think he sold out um, and uh, it was a lot of fun to have him here. Quite the entrepreneur indeed. Um, these are $75 um, on his website, which is dalesquail.com. And, um, uh, you know, really, unless you're planning on making five bucks an hour, uh, trying to cut this thing out and doing it all by yourself, probably a pretty good deal um 
for me, I always say, you know, why would I buy it for a dollar when I can build it for three? But that's just how I roll. Um, so, closing in on this. Screw gun is a wonderful thing. And I would strongly recommend anybody that's doing anything to own a screw gun. And that's how it goes. This is it, man. This is... Um, so as you take this out, that'll give you room for a tray or uh, something to put underneath there to catch the poop, which is always helpful. And there you go. Dale, I hope we uh, did this video to your satisfaction. And we certainly... Appreciate you participating in the 18 and under um, contests. They have been uh, very fulfilling and wonderful to watch these young guys, people, guys and gals, them, um, you know, embark on their little adventure in quail. So that's that's it. Now, the light would simply set on top of this, I assume, uh, your little heat lamp, um, I reckon. You wouldn't want too big a one. You know, you wouldn't want to get this too hot, I wouldn't think. But certainly, it's a brooder. I mean, a brooder's a brooder, a brooder. It's a dandy. Anyhow, Papa, my share farm, if I forgot to say anything, Zach, I don't think so. I think that you pretty much nailed it. Okay, cool. Um, and uh, glad I could help out with the construction of this thing. Always neat to see somebody else's work and how they engineered this. And I, I think it's engineered well. The dowels I thought were maybe not necessary, but they, they are necessary. And pretty darn sturdy. I mean, we didn't even glue this thing together. So uh, you'd want to do that. But it's nice. Good job, Dale. Papa, my shower farm, signing off. Bye.